Hey guys, welcome back again on my channel, Alifa Hasnanda. In today's video, I want to show you how to make notes look aesthetic in Google Docs. So if you are curious about how I made it, let's just go to the tutorial. First, open your browser and here I use my Google Chrome. But if you have a different browser, you can use it too. After that, we type the website docs.google.com and if you haven't signed it yet, just sign it first. Now we are on the Google document page and to start it we first select the blank space and then here you are in the paper page of your document. Next I will go to the page setup section first and in the page size you can set whatever you want and here I will change it to B5 binder size and after that I will move to the margin and here's the settings. For the top I set it to 0.39 inches and for the bottom I will make it 0 and for the right and left side I will make it to 0.52. And to write at the top, I first set it to the title format and after that I will write down the title of the note I want to make. If it's done, then we can change the font. You can choose a font that has been provided by Google Docs or you can add a new font by clicking more fonts. In the my font section on the right is the font that I have chosen and to add more, you can scroll here and choose the one you like. You can also add multiple fonts at once. If you are confused about which one to choose, you can filter according to the writing style. It can be handwriting and others. Then you can also sort and choose fonts based on which one are trending and so on. After that, you can change the font with the font you already download. And for the title here, I will use the bold Lexan font. Then I change the position to center. Next, I will look for color inspiration for the note. Usually, to find a color combination, I will go to the colors.co website. The things that I like about this website is they have many color combinations and complete with their codes. After you found the one that you like, you can click the three dots here and after that, select the open palette and return to the document page. After that, prepare the notes or materials you want to move and here I already have material about the digital economy that I took from the website. And next, I want to add the text for the subtitle. For this part, I will use a word art. After that, click action and select word art. Then I type the sentence. When it's done, click enter. And for subtitles, I will use the bold Laila font. Next, we can shrink the box so that the sentence is not too big. But don't forget to press the shift key on your keyboard so the letter shape remains upright. After that, I will change the color, click on custom, then choose the color palette from the website that we have searched earlier. And after that, we copy or just click the hex code, then we can paste it in the column here. And next, I will add an outline and custom the outline color from the previous color palette and for the outline I choose the lighter color and to set the thickness of the outline you can click here and I made the thickness to 4px and once it finish click save and close if it turns out to be big like this we can make it smaller again according to the desired size by sliding the box line while pressing shift next for the title i forgot that i haven't changed the color so now i will change the color first and the step is still the same click the font color custom then choose a color copy the hex code and then paste next i will draw a rectangle to place under the title so it's not too empty and to make a box i immediately select the shapes then make the size according to what you want and to make the box match with the color theme i will change the color according to the color palette the method that i use to change the color is still the same as in the 
previous step so you can follow the steps and for this box i will make the outline transparent and if you done just save and close and don't forget that every time you want to make a shape it's better to change the setting to behind the text so it will be easier for you to place its position next i will reduce the rectangle and place it under the title then just fit in the size In the overview section, I want to make a brief explanation of the material, so I just copy from the article, then select paste without formatting. After that, I will set the spacing between the lines to 1.5 and select space before paragraph to set the distance between the overview and the bottom line. Then I change the font to normal JAWS. Next, if there are important keywords in the article, you can bold them like this. Next, I will go to the new paragraph, I will add the article source and insert the link. We just write add and a link option will appear. After that, just copy the article link and paste it here. Then click apply. Then we will change the format of this link to the title of the article. If it's done, we can write add again and select the emoji menu option. Next, at the top, I forgot to add the date. Now, let's just write at first, then select this date format, then move the date layout to the right line. Next, I will add a new paragraph. First, click insert and select break. Then, choose the page break continuous. Next, we just go to the format, then select the column and select the two columns. Next, for the left side subtitle, I just copy it from the overview, then paste it. And click edit to change the written so if we edit it it will appear on the drawing page and double click to write it after it's done click enter on the keyboard after that I will reduce the size and don't let the word out of this white ash box and don't forget to string the box while pressing the shift key on the keyboard so that the letters don't sag because the text is too long, I want to make it two lines. Just click shift and enter on the keyboard at the same time, then it will move to the new line. So if it's done, we immediately select save and close. And then we reduce the size and put it in the right position. For the next step, you can repeat like the previous method because the steps will be same. Now for the contents, I'm going to put it in the document. And next, I will add a list using points. How to add point is right at first, then scroll down and select the number list. After that, I copy the material from the article and then paste it again. After that, you can block the point section, then do the right click. To see more options, just click more. And after that, you can choose according to the category. And this time, I want to make it from the stars or aterix category first. Then choose the symbol that you like. And for the contents in the right columns, you can repeat and follow my previous steps. The settings will be the same as the previous one.
it's almost done and it's time to add the final touch for the words that are important i will make bold like this well don't forget that every word i've bought i will also highlight it and the highlight menu is here for the color i will custom and take the color code reference on the colors.co In the title, I also add an emoji so it doesn't look boring. It's finally done! You can save it, you just go to the file menu, then click download, and choose what form you want to download. I usually download it on docs file or PDF file. Okay guys, that's how I make notes using Google Docs and hope you guys like it. If you have any questions, you can write them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you and see you!